good evening everyone um today i am super excited to show you guys some really cool stuff from single j's sublimation um that's jacqueline smith if you guys aren't familiar she offers both ready to ship items and buy-in items i have a couple of really great products today that are perfect for stocking stuffers um, whether you're doing them as gifts for your own family, like what I'm going to create today, or if you're doing them for to sell to your customers, these items are very affordable, have a good selling, a good uh, higher profit margin, and are super easy to sublimate. So we're going to go ahead and go through um, five different products from them from her company that really do make awesome stocking stuffers and are honestly great gifts for all year round um, and great products to add to your shop. So let's go ahead and have a look at what we've got here. We are gonna do um, the aluminum charm bracelet and it has five discs that are three quarters of an inch. We have this keychain card slash ID holder. This is perfect for people who like to go out and have fun and do cool things because um, it's a lot more convenient than carrying your wallet. We have a passport holder. Um, this has a nice micro suede interior. It's very soft. And then of course we can sublimate the outside. We have this really nice leather zipper pouch. I'm actually gonna make this for my sister and I'm a little jealous because it's pretty nice. I might have to get one for myself. And then we have the sequin zipper bag, uh, which is also very nice. It has, let me just, it has this really nice lining inside that I'm really impressed by. So we're actually gonna sublimate both sides of that. So those are our five products today. Um, I'm going to start with the aluminum bracelet because this one is pressed at 385 for 40 seconds. So let's just go ahead and get you guys up on the tripod to make the rest of this easy for us. All right, we'll move those out of the way so we can just focus on one thing at a time. So when you get your bracelet, it's going to come in this great little bag, which is a nice way to be able to reseal your product after you make it and give it to your customer. You can add a little paper tag at the top if you'd like with your business information. There's the bracelet, and you'll see it comes with each of these little aluminum discs. I personally love sublimating aluminum. Um, everything I've done with that, with any kind of sublimation aluminum has come out, has came out awesome. Each little disc is about three quarters of an inch. So all I did to make the template was create circles that were three quarter of an inch in diameter on Infinity Designer. Whenever you're doing aluminum, you're going to be pressing face down. So you want your images to not be mirrored. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line up each little one and we're gonna just secure it with a piece of tape, piece of heat tape. Oh, maybe, there we go. This is just a heat tape dispenser off Amazon. I, and so is the heat tape. Let's just line that up. Now I did make my circles. Um, the aluminum discs are just under three quarters of an inch and I made the, um, the circle template three quarters of an inch because I always like to have just a little bit extra space so that everything will be adequately covered. You wanna make sure you're putting the white side down on all of them. I hope you guys are having a good evening. It is a, very hot here. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, it's very muggy um, out. There's actually a hurricane coming up the coast. So we're gonna be having some rain and hopefully some cooler temperatures. All right, oops, that one slid. Let's get that one back centered. So this is ready to sublimate. We're super easy to do aluminum, honestly. It's uh, one of the fastest products you can do and it's so convenient. And I mean, I do bookmarks mostly and love it. So you wanna make sure to put some sort of transfer paper on your heat press just to keep that ink from going through. And when we're done, oops, I dropped it on the floor. And once we're done um, sublimating this, we're gonna dip it into some water. So I do have a bucket of water off screen. That's just to help stop the process, the sublimation process. 
All right. I think you guys can see the heat press pretty good. There we go. So once again, we're gonna be doing, the aluminum is face down. We're doing this at 385 for 60 seconds. It looks like my press is not quite at 385, so let's just fix that really quick. It might be because there's a little bit of a cool breeze now that it's getting later. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this. It only takes 40 seconds and we're gonna to wanna to use firm pressure. So we will, I've already have it set at the firm pressure. So this one's good to go, but you should always check your pressure before you sublimate something, before you put your transfer on. That way you're sure that everything is lined up the way it's supposed to be. So today I'm using my 16 by 20 press from acesdeals.net. I really like this press. Um, it was very affordable, uh, I believe. I want to say it was $2.89 um, with $29 shipping, but that might be more than it was. <laughs> um, either way, I thought it was really reasonably priced compared to other 16 by 20 presses when I bought it. So the charm bracelets are $3.25. Let me pop this up. So we're going to immediately take this off and just dip it in some cool water. This will help stop the sublimation process. While that is going on, I'm gonna bring you right back over here so we can assemble our bracelet. Okay, so these bracelets are $3.25. Uh, they measure, let's see, we'll measure it. It looks like the biggest length would be 10 inches um, if you had it on the furthest link. This is a great way to put pictures of family. Um, you could even do something that's more holiday themed, like maybe you wanna do snowmen on it. All right, I'm pulling off my little, my little pieces now. This just takes a minute. If you guys have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them afterwards. So we've got our little tiny discs. And I really do like these, they're so, they're so cute. <laughs> I know they're a little hard to see um, just because they are so little, but they are actually very, very cute. the tape off of that one. Now you do want to make sure that these are dry before you try and put them on uh, put them on your bracelet. And our last one. All right, I just need to grab a or something to kind of rub these off. All right, here we go. Got a little washcloth to dry them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and line up the order that we want them in, which I want that one over there, and then that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, and this has um, an adhesive layer that we just need to peel off. Let me see if I can find something to make it easier for you guys to see it on the video. All 
All right, I need to kind of do it off. There you go. B and C, you just peel off that little white piece that's there and we have our metal there and we're gonna go ahead and stick our picture right in there very, very carefully. All right, so we got one in. We'll go ahead and do the other ones. I'm just using a nail file to kind of dig this up. Put our next picture in. And these fit perfectly in, so you don't have to worry about them not being centered. You just need to make sure they are nice and straight. I'm making this one for a friend. This is her and her family. And we just got our two more pictures here. Once again, we're just trying to make sure that it's nice and straight as we put it together. And our last picture. There we go. And just like that, we have a great charm bracelet. So um, like I said, these are $3.25. Um, they are super easy to sell to me. As you can see, that took no time at all for us to get them together. This is a great photo gift um, if that's your niche, or it's just a great custom gift for your customers. The selling price point for these, um, they are made out of aluminum. The selling price point for these is about $12.50, so there's a nice profit margin there. Um, you could, of course, do $12.50 as your regular price, and then around Mother's Day, um, you know, wedding season, things like that, you could always do a little bit lower price as a special, and you'd still be making a really great profit off of these. So they're very nice, they're very durable. Um, and then you just clasp it together, and you have, oops, we're all we're turned backwards. You have some beautiful photos on your bracelet. So this is a great charm bracelet idea, and probably one of my favorite jewelry sublimation products. So we're gonna slide that right back in its bag, and now it is ready to go to its new home. So we'll set that over there so we can move on to our next stocking stuffer idea. Let me get some of our garbage out of the way. I need to just increase our heat press really quick because all the remaining items uh, need to be pressed at 400 degrees. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is our passport cover. So these are really nice. I really like the suede interior. Um, it's got a spot for a couple of cards, just everything that you need. The first thing that we wanna do is put a piece of heat tape right here on our suede edge so that any ink overflow isn't going to get on this. So I'm gonna get a nice good size of heat tape. I'm gonna line this right on up to the edge. You definitely wanna make sure you get it all the way to the edge. Just like when you do the sublimation wallets, same, same idea. So we've got it there and I need a little bit more. All right. So we've got our tape to protect that little part. And now we're gonna go ahead and apply our transfer. So I made, this was very easy to make these templates. This, I just measured this um, and then made a square that was just a hair bigger. For this, I did three and a half inches wide by 5.875 inches tall. And oops, line it up the correct direction. When we line it up and you can kind of see, you can see that that is just the right size on there for this to fit. So this is gonna press for 400 degrees in 60 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and center this. Make sure everything is pretty straight. And when I say straight, we're basically looking for the edge of the design with the edge of the product um, on the top, the bottom, and the sides. We're gonna apply some heat tape so we can make sure everything stays in place. We'll just put one at the top and bottom. And 
And with that, we are ready to press this. So this is gonna be 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Turn you guys back up a little bit. Now when you do these, you also want um, this to kind of hang off the edge. So this is gonna use medium firm pressure. We're gonna set that like that. This will just prevent you from, you know, anything happening to the other portion of this. All right, so passport holders are a great gift. Everyone wants to be into traveling now, and there's so many great websites for affordable travel that it makes it a lot more appealing. Um, I've seen some really cool designs in some of the sublimation groups for passport covers. Uh, I chose to go with something that was what my friend wanted, um, a specific pattern that I had done on a bookmark for her. Uh, so that was all that that was. The passport holders are $4.50. You can get them in a couple of different colors. They're made of a really nice PU leather. Um, I'm definitely very impressed with it, and I'm sure you guys will too. So for $4.50, um, you know, with the cost of your transfer, you're looking at about maybe $5 all in cost. So with that in mind, um, you can easily sell these for $15 or $20. It'll really depend on whether you offer personalization or not, but during the holiday season, personalization is definitely the way to go. Just gonna get our heat glove there. Pop that up. Pull this off. There we go. We can go ahead and peel our tape off as well. Hot. Gotta set that there for a second because it is pretty hot. And check that out. Those colors are gorgeous. And just like that, you've got a product that easily sells for $15 or more. So now let's head to our next one. So I'm gonna kinda set that there so we can see our finished products. All right, next up is gonna be our card holder keychain. This one comes in a nice little resealable bag, which makes it easy once you're done to um, set it up for your customer. Sorry. I don't think I mentioned it um, at the start of the video, but all of our transfers today are done on an Epson Workforce 7710 using Printer Jack ink available on Amazon. And we're using text print XPHR paper for Epsons. I really do like this paper. Um, I have a couple new ones I'm gonna be testing out, but for now this is what I use. So just like before, um, we're gonna make sure everything's centered. This is another easy to do template. I just used the square, <laughs> the square tool on any design program. I did it in Affinity Designer, but any program will allow you to create a square. I made it 2.875 inches by 4.375 inches, and that allows it to be just a little bit bigger than the actual product so that we can make sure everything's lined up accordingly and it's covered edge to edge. So just like we did with the passport holder, we're going to center this and then we're gonna apply some tape. I think that this card holder is absolutely awesome. Um, I haven't seen any other companies offering this specific product. So just something to keep in mind. So now that we've got it all centered, we're gonna pop back over to our press. Gonna center that back in, transfer up. We're going to reuse the same piece of butcher paper because there isn't anything on it. It's always a good sign. Once again, we're going to be using medium firm pressure, and this is 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Put that up there so you can see it. And if you missed the beginning, this is a 16 by 20 press from acesdeals.net. Um, very affordable, under $300 with it shipped. Really great heat press. Uh, I've been super happy with it. It was a nice upgrade from my Amazon one. We'll put it that way. So the card holders are $3.75 each. 
Um, these don't have quite as much of a price margin as like a passport uh, cover does, um, or even like the leather tote bag, but you could still easily sell these for 10 to maybe 12, $13. Um, it'll really kind of depend on what kind of market you're targeting. Um, for some people I know, they target people who go to concerts a lot. So that gives them the opportunity to kind of cash in on people who already spend more money on custom stuff. Ooh. Pull that off. Hot. It is very hot. Ouch. All right. It's a little hot, so I'm gonna put it on the glove. There we go. <laughs> All right, look at how beautiful those colors are. And then you can just put a little keychain in here, a little key ring in there, and it'll attach right to your keychain. This is gorgeous. Um, really vibrant colors and the edge to edge, because we made the design a little bit bigger, makes this a great product. And then of course, when you're ready to, ready to uh, sell it to your customer, you can put it right back in that little zipper bag, that little sealable bag that it came in. I'm not going to, because it's hot. I'm actually just gonna let it cool down there for a second. Um, and just in case you guys were wondering if the back fused or anything, it did not. Just so you guys know, this is my first time pressing all of these products from Single J Sublimation. So you guys are along for the ride with me on this one. <laughs> all right, next up is gonna be our leather, our leather pouch. Now I am so impressed by this leather pouch. First of all, it's a nice, thick leather pouch, perfect for pens, perfect for your checkbook and other things you might put in your purse. Um, you know, maybe if you just want to keep like cash safe, you can put that in there. I think this is fantastic. So we're going to be doing this design. It's just really simple. This is actually a free digital paper on Hungry JPEG last week. Um, so... Anytime you see those digital papers, it's always a good thing to grab because you just never know when they're going to come in handy. I did, um, this is a digital paper I created using the seamless pattern tutorial that we have for Affinity Designer and Silhouette in the group. Um, and so that worked out great for this one. But for this, I just went ahead and used a great digital paper that I could put on there. So um, this has a nice metal zipper, so we don't have to worry about this melting. So that's definitely a good selling point on these. We're going to line up our design just like we did the other ones. I'm not going to worry about oops, I'm not going to worry about taping this one because it's black on top. So even if a little ink does transfer, you're not going to be able to tell. Let's make sure my sister's name is facing in the correct direction. All right. So we'll go ahead and once again, we're gonna center this. I did the, the rectangle for this in, let's see, eight and a half inches wide by 5.875 inches tall. So that gave me enough around the outer edge to make sure that we are gonna get complete full bleed on this. So just like we did with the uh, passport and the card holder, we're gonna go ahead and tape this. And this one also presses for 400 degrees. So we're gonna just take it right on over there. I'm gonna go ahead and actually get a new piece of butcher paper. And I'm actually just using painting mask paper, the like really thin stuff from Walmart. It's, I think it's $2 for a roll. So once again, we're going to use medium firm pressure and we're going to do 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Once again, I'm also using um, my Epson 7710 with printer jack ink and we are using text print XPHR paper, which you can get from Pro World, Heat Transfer, Warehouse and Heat Press Nation are just a couple of the places that do carry it. Um, I get a lot of people who ask me where to buy it. And I'm not sure why, because it's easily available in both 110 and 500 pack sheets, and it's available in a variety of sizes. So I personally really like this paper for Epson. I've been very satisfied with it. Um, I like A-Sub as well. 
And I'm gonna do a comparison of a couple of different papers here coming up soon, because I've gotten a few different ones to test and try out and compare. So it'll be interesting to see how those ones stack up next to each other, especially since, you know, we know that text print R is always hailed as the best, but is it really the best? We will be finding out. All right. Oops. The tape kind of stuck to that. And what? This is gorgeous. It's also very hot. Let me just get that tape off of there. Check that out. It's really hot and I'm sure the metal is very hot, so I don't want to touch it. But once again, amazing colors, great edge to edge bleed. Um, let me just unzip it. Hot. Ha. Yeah. Sorry, it's really hot, but I do, I do want to show you that that the inside like didn't fuse together because this is always a, a question. Ow. Okay. As you can see, the inside did not fuse or anything. This is a very nice leather pouch. Um, like I said, I'm a little jealous that I made it for my sister for Christmas, but, you know, maybe I'll get one for myself too. All right, the last product we're going to do. Oops, sorry. I don't think I talked about Selling Point. Um, for these leather pouches, they cost, they are $5. These are ready to ship item from Single J Sublimation. And you can easily sell these for 20 bucks, honestly. Um, 15, if you feel like 20 is too much, but these are really, really nice quality. I haven't seen anyone else who has as nice of a leather zipper bag as this one. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll just set that there while it cools. Just kind of leave everything out while it's cooling. All right, so we've got four great products down, four awesome stocking stuffers. And then our last one is going to be the sequin zipper bag. So I'm actually going to sublimate both sides of this. Um, Jacqueline has assured me that both sides can be done. I'm going to put this unicorn from Digital Curio on Etsy on the sequin side. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that um, our press is not too tight for this. So I'm just going to take it off screen really quick and adjust my press. Now, you always want firm pressure when you're doing sequined items, but you don't need it to be like extremely firm. So I've already made sure all of our sequins are facing in the same direction. Um, this has a white and silver side. We're sublimating on the white side, of course. We're gonna go ahead and just center our unicorn. Let's find our tape measure. We got two inches on that side. Two. Okay, pretty easy and straightforward here. Now, for the sequin zipper pouch, um, I sized this based on the measurements of the pouch because it's a little hard to do full bleed on these. Um, so I did 8.75 inches wide by uh, five and a half inches tall. Let's see if that's accurate. No, sorry, six and a half inches tall. So we're going to go ahead and sublimate one side and then we have to let it cool a minute before we do the other side but I'm just gonna bring the transfer with us so that we don't have to move back and forth here. I'm just gonna trim it really quick. And since this will be our last product, don't forget that if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I will answer them after the video. For those of you who are joining late, this video will be available once I'm done in our um, tutorial section. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right on there. And we're doing this for 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So all of these products, except for the aluminum, sublimated for 400 degrees for 60 seconds with medium firm pressure. Super easy. Um, I mean, it's taken us no time at all to go through all these different products and get them ready. Great, easy, fast finds for your business. The sequin zipper pouch is $4. Um, the selling price for these, uh, easily 20 bucks. These are perfect 
for wedding season, especially they're great for Christmas. Um, I'm, you know, I'm doing this as a Christmas gift, but it's also be really good for back to school. The pouch is nice and roomy. Um, it's the material on the back, uh, that I'll show you in a minute is very soft and, uh, just like a really high quality product. I'm very impressed by the zipper bag. And I think that um, my niece is going to love it. So that's of course important because she's a teenager and they're finicky. <laughs> Our timer's just about up. And lift that up. And again, it's hot, so be careful. Hot, hot, hot. All right. I'm gonna put this glove on because it'll be a little easier here. Look at how beautiful that looks. And let me just, uh, we're gonna do our sequins back and forth here. I've heard this helps cool them. This is actually only the second sequined item I've ever done because the first one I did was kind of a failure. <laughs> that was at Christmas time if you guys missed that fun video where I definitely messed up that. Those colors look amazing. So again, this unicorn is from Digital Curio. Um, and so are the flowers that we're gonna do on the other side. That's a shop on Etsy. She has beautiful watercolor unicorns. I absolutely love them. Um, I just added a little shadow so that the ears would show up better. All right, so anytime you're doing something that's double-sided, you always wanna make sure it's adequately cooled before you put it back on the press. So I'm just gonna kind of shake this, give it a minute to cool before we put it back on the press. This will ensure that you're not gonna like release the ink that's on the other side. And you can do this with pillows, um, table runners, li linens, anything. Honestly, anything you're doing double-sided, make sure it's completely cool in between the sides and you will be golden. So just to be safe, we are still gonna put a piece of, um, of the butcher paper down. Um, just because if there is anything I don't want it to transfer onto this, or onto my Teflon sheet, I should say. All right. So I've got a new piece of butcher paper. We're going to go ahead and line this up. Always make sure that you lint roll if uh, necessary. It's not really necessary for me today, but I also can't find my lint roller. I'll just be straightforward. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. So we're going to try and make sure our name is straight and centered that looks not quite straight and centered always a little harder when you're doing things at an angle in a live video you guys all right now it's straight and centered you can always tape it down you can use adhesive spray whatever tickles your fancy i'm not going to worry about it um i typically don't with linens i am going to move this back a little bit though And once again, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. We're using that great 16 by 20 press from acesdeals.net. We're using our Epson Workforce 7710 printer with Printer Jack Ink off of Amazon and TextPrint XPHR paper. I designed and printed everything directly from Affinity Designer today. So I'm gonna let this go for a few seconds. Don't forget, if you guys have questions, I will answer them after the video. And thank you so much for joining us tonight. I know it seems early to talk about Christmas, but Christmas is coming up fast. And as business owners, we got to be ready. All right. Lift that up. Woo, that color looks beautiful. It's very hot. I'm going to just kind of shake this a little bit. Hot, hot, hot. I'm just kind of shaking it to cool it for a second so that I can actually show this to you guys. Hot. Oh my gosh, look at how gorgeous those colors are. I love it. My niece is gonna love this. And those flowers were part of that unicorn set from Digital Curio, for those of you who are wondering. And you know, just so we can cover all the bases, once again, no issues with the liner fusing, zipper and everything else looks great. 
All right, it's too hot for me to zipper, but <laughs> you get the idea. So, so we'll go ahead and set this back up here so you guys can see all of our great products today. Um, once again, these are all ideas for stocking stuffers, but they also work for products you can sell all year round. And again, the price point on average here is about $15, 20 on some of them. You can see the colors all look amazing. Sign of a great product, good quality ink, great paper. And there we have it. You can find all the information about these products in the description for the video. And if you have any other questions, just let me know. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And thanks for being a part of Sub That.